Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Day Gamers, and welcome. So today is Tuesday, and Tuesday means one thing. We've got an exciting new update from the Medieval Engineers developers, and you're probably wondering what you'll be getting your hands on this week. In last week's update, we were able to actually start building different construction stages. As you can see here, we've got some twigs putting up this barn together, but now they've added another survival feature. And to actually witness this, we're going to wander a little bit over here into the woods. And they've actually given us the ability to now head into the woods and pick fruit and berries and different supplies. There's up to four pickable plants, I'll show you here. So you can see we've got a nice little berry bush there. You can see the berries on the branches. We've also got another one there. And if I hit T on that berry bush, You'll notice the berries disappear off the bush, and we get that there. Now, if I press T again, we can eat it, and you hear a nice little crunching sound effect. But if I go to my other menu, and I actually use the manipulation tool, we can actually press T on the berries. So we've picked the berries, and you can see we've dropped them out on the floor, and we can actually try and attempt to pick them up now. So we've picked the berries up, and we can actually load them into a cart. So I guess in the future, these will be used for some sort of survival mechanic to feed you. I guess that combined with the deers and other things, maybe there'll be preparation stages for food and different things. So there you go, we can drop that down. Now, there is three other sorts of plants apart from the berries. Now, the next thing is mushrooms. So we'll have a quick look around to see if we can actually find any mushrooms. So we've now came across a small patch of mushrooms. Now, these are another edible fixture. So if we press T, you can see the mushrooms spawn in a little cluster there. We can press T again to eat them up and you can also press T and collect them like you could do before so we could pick them up and carry them back to our camp now there is two other edibles that is like a blue sort of bush and a twig like sort of root but I can't seem to find them anywhere and I've searched the map good I've even turned the foliage off with the settings and prayed over the land maybe they're just not spawning at the moment or maybe they'll be added in in a later update but they were just making us aware of that but that's pretty damn cool. I can't wait to be snacking and messing around preparing meals. So now we've been in the forest and we've stuffed our face with fruit and berries, we can actually have a look at the next part of this update. And this is them adding more construction stages to existing and some of the blocks that didn't have construction stages before. So if I just pop into my menu, you can see that we've got some with just very basic sort of construction stages. As you see, we've got ones with two that require two sets of sort of parts of construction. So we've got one part up at the top and the second part and then you can see we've even got one or two with three or four stages so this is a stone ceiling for instance and just look how complicated that is i mean that's obviously so it can support its own weight it actually requires three separate micro blocks you can see there a stone ceiling outer a stone ceiling inner and a stone ceiling inner corner very interesting indeed and some of the other blocks also require this as well so these stairs don't you can see this triangular part requires three construction stages but they are different than this one over here so if i go over here it looks like these actually require separate parts of blocks to be built where this one just requires separate materials at different times so very interesting so i've actually got these at different construction stages here we've got a doorway and you can see how the stone is slowly being layered up around this doorway arch and we've got the wood frame on the inside we've got the stones here it does look really realistic i know some of you guys think it takes a little bit too long to build in this game and if they use this method where you have to collect up all your supplies and carry them over it'll take even longer but it's something that's going to probably develop over time and there'll be faster ways of building for them people that don't want to spend all this time moving block by block to the position you can also see the archway with its outer frame as it's reaching that construction step and these take a hell of a long time to both construct and deconstruct especially deconstructing these i guess it's more in a manner that people can't come along run along to your base deconstruct it and use up the resources really fast it just takes forever to deconstruct the items but if you've just built up a massive building or a castle you're not going to want someone deconstructing your wall as fast as they could break through it anyway let's move on now a core part of medieval engineers was attacking and defending castles and before that was a little bit hard it was hard to load these buckets up so if we actually grab a rock here make sure we've got the hand equipped and we click upon that with a t we can bring our ball out and we can load that into the cannon but just look how difficult that is they've also fixed a lot of the collision with this so if i'm quite aggressive with this ball i can no longer kill players it simply catches on the object moves around it if it can and if i'm really aggressive and like push on it too hard it'll simply knock it out of my hands just like that but let's pick that ball back up and we'll load it up now it's as easy as just pressing t and you can see how the ball drops into place and now we're going to release that and there we go, off it goes in the direction of the castle. It looks like we've got a successful hit on the target. We're going to re-engage the rope drum and shift T, crank that back down. I love the strain noise of that rope, it's so cool. There we go, that's back into position. But let's try a much larger ball. So we've actually got stone out of it this time. And if I place that on there, 
you can see it's loaded just the same and it means that most of the objects that I can actually collect and move around with can be loaded into that bucket so that's really cool so we'll fire that you can see that one's too heavy it's not really gone that far so let's crank it back one more time we'll try the other cannonball so shift T crank it back down perfect you can pick this cannonball up and just look how much faster we can load these catapults now even though these bigger balls won't go very far but still the idea is there and I can't wait to see what we're going to be doing with them